Hello. Right, I thought I'd get out of the office for these ramblings today. Check out this guy with the guitar over here behind me. Can you see that guy? Look at that guy in the farm. Look at this girl. Say hi, Lucky. Say hi, Lucky. Look at Lucky. That's Lucky D. Waffles Brownlee. She's not 15 or 31 or 63. She is, however, going out on a walk with me. I thought I need to get this video recorded and then take her for a walk. And then I was just arguing with people on the internet. So I thought, you know what? I need to get out of there. So I'll record the video on my walk today. It's Champions League Wednesday. So the, there was a couple of things I thought I wanted to talk about. But actually there's a major one. And it is really about people. And what's been going on recently. Let's get the doggy off the lead. There we go, doggy. Get to reach this field we go. And she's gone. Right, don't go too far, Lucky. Look at that. Very, very exciting. She was meant to be having a spaying operation. Okay. She was going to get spayed and then it didn't happen. So she doesn't know how lucky she is. Um, yeah, I was going to do something on first goal scorer, laying it. But um, couldn't quite get the tone right because obviously my sample size, I'm only doing two, three, four games a day at most during Premiership Saturday, a couple on Sunday. Um, two or three in the Champions League. I can't really do all eight. I don't have the attention for it. And so anything that I talked about in terms of my profits is highly reliant on short-term variance. And whilst there is a conversation about the mathematics and the amount of EV that's available and the techniques involved, I don't really want to talk about my profits because they're inconsequential with the amount of sample size I've had recently. All I'd say is that if you were looking at doing it, a nice little strategy I like to do is just get on the few players that you think are value to lay for any inconsequential price. And then once you've figured out exactly who you're doing, you can then start topping up to adjust those prices. Because you never really want to lay one at 15, because that's the equivalent of backing at 1.06. But once you've laid a few at 15 and a few at 10 and eight, you can see that your combined liability is sort of getting down to even money where on any of those players, you're going to lose as much as you win if they come, if somebody else scores or it finishes nil-nil or if it gets into the second half and the substitutes come on. I mean, yesterday was really nice with the Real Madrid match with some defender for AC Milan scoring first and a few others. So, I mean, we need to talk about something around that. And then the other thing I want to talk about was the mathematics of Aston Villa shot on target, Aston Villa to win and most corners. So the exchange just now is at 8.4 going back that go and back that now. We've done a calculation, which we put into our calculator about, you know, we know individually most shots on target and most goals. Um, but how do you combine those given that every or almost every goal is a shot on target? Not everyone, but almost everyone. Um, well, we found a way of doing it and it's accurate over a very, very large number of games. And if you combine just those two in the bet builder, it'll work out the combined price. Then you add in most corners and it does a direct multiplication of three. So don't do that. We need to update the bet builder to include a third component, such as most corners. And we will do as I go over the style. Here we go. Look at this. Into the field. Yeah, no, what I wanted to talk about today wasn't... So, yeah, going back, Aston Villa on the exchanges at 8.4 to get the most shots on target to win and get the most corners. What I wanted to talk about was people. Why I've come out to the countryside. Another afternoon of arguing with people on the internet. I'm just getting a little bit of a... I'm bored of telling people that I get abuse. Because I think it makes me come across as a little bit thin-skinned. And I, d I actually don't think it's particularly interesting for people to hear about it. Trump's just won the election. You imagine how much abuse he gets. It's water over off a duck's back for him, isn't it? And it'd be good to be like that. However... At the same time, things have changed, times have changed. And I have found it very difficult to pretend to be someone that I'm not. And recently we've had to do certain things. We've had to close Discord. Um, years and years ago, the purpose 
really main purpose of Discord was to band about the strategies used by different teams who a lot were duplicating each other's work and just making it a little bit more efficient, whilst at the same time maybe sharing some shop coupons and so on and so forth. And maybe for the last few years, it's been used for nefarious purposes and often we can't tell what is trolling and what is not trolling. And sometimes we let the trolling go because we don't notice it. And sometimes we might block somebody who wasn't trolling, but we thought that they were. And it's just a big mess. And then we went and asked everyone, what benefit does it have? No one could give us one. And since we've shut it down, not a single person has asked us to turn it back on again. And it's been a couple of weeks and it is a lot quieter. And we have moved to Telegram read only. And we now can silence those that I, I think in the last one or two years seem to get a little bit of a louder voice trolling, trolling for what purpose I'm not entirely sure, either because they think it's funny or some reason for protecting value or something like that. It's irritating and something about Discord being a 24 seven platform. Um, you know, somebody was um, tagging us and some scrapers had gone down in the middle of the night when we were sleeping and we hadn't fixed them by six o'clock in the morning. So we were tagged and the person said that our response time wasn't necessarily good. I mean, we fixed them at 7 a.m. in the morning. How much better could we do? Those kind of public 24 hour go out for dinner with the family, find yourself getting into a disagreement. I mean, it wasn't the correct platform anymore. But then I looked through Twitter, my own Twitter, and I realized that I haven't done anything that hasn't ended in me arguing with someone over there over whether I can't take criticism, whether I'm a wet wipe, whether I'm um, fat little jelly arms, which is just trying to engage a reaction. But, but even non-gambling stuff. What was it that I posted on the weekend? Something about bacon and another thing about fireworks. And just the first few responses are, oh, that package of bacon is more transparent than you are, or, or you know, I'm surprised you can handle the fireworks with how much of a Weasley pathetic man you are. And it's like, okay, but it's like, there's nothing positive. It's like, it's all negative, everything. And, you know, I look at Nick Goff and his ability to crack out really funny jokes, but he's also got an audience. And I, uh, I'm unable to sort of live at that level. But I also don't get the amount of people following them around, giving them shit all the time. They don't, don't really, perhaps it is me and because I mention it and perhaps this doesn't help. But I think possibly now we're got, gonna have to get to the point where we lose Twitter. Does leave Vivi in charge of it and charge a bookie bash and I'll go. I mean, it's not an airport, is it? One second, whilst I just pause this. <clears throat> Nobody, didn't see anyone on this one or the next one. You too. See you, <laughs> I, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, um, so we'll lose, I mean, I don't post on there anymore uh, anyway. And so you sort of argue, well, they win then? Yeah, they do. Just from my perspective, when it's like 99% of it, it's, it's the weird thing where it's in person, it's 99 or 100% positive, and then online it's 99% now negative. So we'll lose, we've lost Discord. YouTube's now read only, so no comments can be left on that. Um, comments are turned off. I saw Khan's video the other day for my sins. Um, think of him whatever you want. Three quarters of the comments left on his video were from people with agendas, um, saying things they didn't necessarily mean or just being mean. And it's like, so we can't just have a conversation in the UK about advantage player value betting, it's not possible. And you wonder how many people it is that are controlling this, that are doing it. I mean, I wonder if it's a handful of small, small handful of people that just don't like people talking about it, that want to control the narrative. And what they're doing is in form, it's just, a, it's a form of bullying. Um, to anyone that dares to speak about it. And what they'll find is that pulling this ladder up so that nobody else can talk about it or learn about it will end up costing them in the long run, I can promise them that. Um, so we'll, you know, I've locked, locked down my Facebook and my Instagram a long time ago after somebody started commenting and messaging 
so on an anonymous account about on pictures of my kids so that had to go and then that'll just leave us in a place where I can't have a discussion with anyone and it's probably not where I wanted to be but it's where we are because this is the only way that stops them from winning um yeah I don't really know what the point of the video is it's more sort of to clarify the place that we're coming from is that I'm tired I don't need it to be 99% of the visibility of what I see if the purpose of doing this was to you know this is the annoying thing if the purpose of doing it was to annoy me into not allowing people to engage and talk to each other then that then they then they win because it's where we are and it's annoying to let them win because they're idiots but it is what it has to be um and there's another there's sort of a stupid youtube slot stream accounts that i've come across i hate walking in the countryside when you're going to walk past somebody and you're talking to the camera like i hate it so much i think i'm just gonna to have to pause this again so one second okay let's go put it away right okay embarrassment level over yeah there's a like a youtube streamer called the bandit and all he does is like high stakes um negative expectation slots for fun um and he was going for years and then this year has to turn his comments off because they just um they just dwindle into ab abuse abuse to him and he was sort of saying over and over again it's water off a duck's back to him i don't know the guy but a lot of it seemed quite hurtful and then arguing and then saying that it's not real and yeah so you control the narrative so bucky bashing that's what we're doing we're controlling the narrative and sadly what that means is that the opportunity to engage both with us and with each other is now restricted um if you want to chat to me you can chat to me through support at bookybashing.net where my team will pick it up um oh my, my favorite pubs is getting refurbished by me wow check that out it's a nice pub that you and i it's in like um lists of the top 100 countryside pubs in the uk as well but you can't go there today and tomorrow it is going to be open refurbished from 12 noon on friday i might have to pop in there at 12 noon on friday and see what it's like there you go um yeah so this got me to think like what is it that's changed recently that means that it's like this just now and probably just going to pause the video for a third and last time because i'm going to cross the main road unless i can cross this main road maybe i can cross the main road into the cricket pitch without getting run over yeah i think i can okay we don't support at all okay right so just over the road let's get into the cricket pitch so what's a good album by the way a good band from back in the day. Way too much of just now. I mean, I saw Ishmael and Sombol are like a jazz house band up in the Hare and Hounds in Birmingham. So very, very, very good. <laughs> back in the day, Embrace are just it's a couple of songs by Embrace. Looking, was it looking the way you are or looking how you are? And your weakness is none of my, my weakness is none of your business. It's so good. Embrace. We're, as good as any band and we don't get any recognition whatsoever we're in the cricket ground a great place to be on a friday in the summer after school all the parents go up to the pavilion i've got three lagers ales three packets of crisps and a sausage roll and i got changed for 10 pounds and that was in the summer of 2024 if you want to talk about plus ev you come along to this cricket club during the summer and get your kids into the kids cricket team go up to the pavilion and have a burger from the barbecue. here's something that i think that might have changed is it gen bloody z is that what it is is it gen bloody mb is it the proliferation of the match betters and the arbitrage players who have been pushed in the direction of value betting by some of the larger match betting communities as the free bets that they so aspired to back and lay have disappeared 
the bottom fell out of the edge that they had and they pushed the risk-free want to be profitable betters towards value betting and there's now a lot more of them and if you take one percent of a hundred people you get a nasty single person and if you take one percent of ten thousand people you get a nasty 100 people and so now maybe it's exactly the same percentage of the population are dicks but there's a lot more people and you see those people because they're the ones that reach out because of course you know people that aren't dicks don't tend to come to anything on my stupid post about bacon on the weekend so maybe it's that maybe there's just way more people doing it some of those people don't have an understanding of variance bankroll management and some of those people are just awful people do you know what i mean and they want you to feel bad the person i was arguing with me today I stupidly tried to argue that I'm a happy family man. His, his, his counter-argument was trying to tell me how unhappy I am. And then you realise, what am I doing? I'm arguing with some anonymous person called Blob on the internet about whether I'm happy or not. My name being Tom Brownlee, his name being Blob, the anonymous online person. What am I doing? That's when I had to get out of the house and not post the video in my office today. I'm still on a walk with the puppy. Isn't that right, Lucky? What do you think? What do you think about these people? Oh, I don't know. I was meant to be in the operating theatre today getting spayed. But then the vet told me that I'm too young and I've got too many things to chew, like Nintendo controllers, Xbox controllers, Sky Remote controls, Tom's shoes, Tom's sandals, Tom's favourite baseball cap. I haven't chewed this baseball cap yet, but I will do soon. I've got all of these things to do. Isn't that right, Lucky? What do you think? What else do you think about these people? And then we come out into the cricket club field with the puppy and all these arguments seem so stupid, don't they? So nonsensical. Now all I can think of is that have I bet enough on Aston Villa to win? Aston Villa to get the most shots on target given that most goals are shots on target and Aston Villa to get the most corners given that if they're getting lots of Shots on target that aren't goals, they'll be corners, but if they're getting lots of goals, they won't be shots on target. I mean, just if you're getting seven to one or more than that, I think it's max bet territory personally. I do, oh, it kicks off in like an hour and a half. By the time I've uploaded this to video and cut out the bits that I have to cut out, maybe it's too late for anyone to get on it. Oh, well, that is what it is. And we'll talk about first goal scorers soon. I'm just gonna come through it. Hey, not through there. We're gonna come through here. Okay, no use past this point, apparently. It's very autumnal here in Worcestershire today. I mean, it's very, very sort of leafy on the floory, browny grey sky, but it's nice, I like it. It's not that cold, I'm not all wrapped up in the gloves. Kids are over in the field playing football, looking cute. I should probably stop recording actually because it's a feel full of kids. Don't know where to face. One second. Okay. Past the kids. Not that I was recording them, it's leaving my kids' school, but can't be too safe these days. Oh, I'm pretty much finished this ramble on an amble and other way around, amble on a ramble. That nearly sounded great. I'll tell you what does sound great. I don't really know. I shouldn't really be imparting any advice to a group of anonymous internet people. So I don't know who they are. And it's not like they'll listen anyway. They're probably not even watching this. But in the words of Ted Theodore Roosevelt, Esquire, from San Dimas High School, be excellent to each other. Should we do that? I think we should do that. 